Not long ago, Tesla funded researchers discovered a surprising detail about lithium ion battery discharges. This detail may actually help Tesla's scientists to solve the problems behind your battery discharging itself. So say you leave your car at home and you're gone overseas for two months, you come back and the battery's lost a small amount of charge or a big amount of charge, depends on how cold it is where you left your car or how hot it is as well. However, that could all change as a result of this new discovery. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. A potentially crucial reason behind lithium ion batteries tendency to self discharge has been discovered by researchers at the Tesla funded battery research center at Dalhousie University. What's quite remarkable was that the group's findings were amazingly simple, yet potentially profound. Tesla says that electronic products such as smartphones and laptops tend to self discharge over time. Now, here's an idea. Go hiking, go somewhere where it's cold, take your phone outside, see how long your phone battery lasts for. Usually it's a much shorter period of time versus normal. This could help in those situations in particular. While this is considered normal today, discharge I mean, researchers from Dalhousie University have discovered the culprit for self-discharging lithium-ion batteries. People didn't really seem to fully understand why batteries have been doing this. Dr. Michael Mietzka, an assistant professor at the Herzberg Dahn Chair and in the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Science in Dalhousie University, noted that a commercial tape that holds electrodes together in lithium-ion batteries could be a key contributor to the self-discharging process. In commercial battery cells, there is tape, like scotch tape, that holds the electrodes together. And there is a chemical decomposition of this tape. This chemical decomposition creates a molecule that leads to the self-discharge. In our laboratory, we do many highly complex experiments to improve batteries. But this time we discovered a very simple thing. It's a very simple thing. It is in every single plastic bottle. And no one would have thought that this has such a huge impact on how the lithium ion cells degrade over time, Dr. Metzger said. To understand lithium ion battery cells and their self discharging behaviors. Dr. Metzger and his team opened up several cells and exposed them to various temperatures. To their surprise, the team found that the electrolyte solution in the cell was bright red. Exploring further, the team placed cells with common electrolyte solution into ovens at four different temperatures. Four different oven temperatures were used ranging from 25 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. The cell sample at 25 degrees Celsius remained clear, while the sample at 55 degrees Celsius turned light brown, the one at 70 degrees Celsius became blood red. The team then performed a chemical analysis to examine the composition of the electrolyte. Here is what happened to the electrolyte after it had been exposed to the different temperatures. That's when the researchers found that the polyethylene terephthalate or PET in the tape decomposes and creates the molecule that leads to the self discharge. The molecule is called a redox shuttle because it can travel to the positive side of the electrode, then to the negative side and then back to the positive side and so on. So it shuttles between the electrodes and that creates the self discharge, just like lithium is supposed to do. The problem is that the shuttle molecule is doing it all the time in the background even when no lithium is supposed to move when the battery is just sitting there. It's something we never expected because no one looks at these inactive components, these tapes and plastic foils in the battery cell, but it really needs to be considered if you want to limit side reactions in the cell, said Dr. Metzger. Now, phantom drain in EV batteries is still happening in electric cars. All of them get this. It's pretty normal, but I think it's likely Tesla will be installing this new update. Simply matching, making a change to the adhesive they use could completely eliminate the likelihood of your car discharging itself. And this also, Tesla believe, could have an effect on the longevity of an electric car battery. Right now, Tesla has revealed that after 200,000 miles of driving, 
their batteries get approximately 12% battery degradation. That means after 320,000 kilometers of driving, your battery pack, Tesla battery packs on average, have 88% original capacity left in the battery. Could this be one of the reasons why Tesla's batteries now last so much longer than they did in the past? Possibly. Then again, this is a new finding. It might not have actually applied to Tesla battery cells yet. If it hasn't, which we assume is the most likely thing, then Tesla battery cells of the future may have just gotten one big step better. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.